Hello, thank you very much for watching me again and welcome back to Nelson Masanti Show. Today we're going to have a few things, nice things as well. We're going to talk about a, a few issues. The first one that we're going to talk today is uh, about Inverness. We're going to talk all the things that are happening in Inverness uh, and they're happening around Inverness. Uh, the Saturday the 22nd, the, the last Saturday, I was in the, this place called it, um, the LGBT uh, from here, from Inverness, the forum, the Lognet forum, uh, and make a, like a meeting, like a nice meeting in this place called, I'm going to here, I'm going to read it, Mac Naps Bar. Bistro, really nice place. We were there full of women, I have to tell you. It was a man, I don't know what happened, but as soon as I get here, there, he left like he was really, really, really mad or something. I don't know what happened, but I asked was if, he, if I was, if it was me the problem, and I believe it was me, but um, things happen in this life. Uh, some people like you, some people doesn't like you. And uh, it was a really nice because I had the pleasure to talk with the Joan, Joan, the secretary of the forum. And uh, we have a really nice chat and we set, uh, set down a lot of uh, difference that we have between the uh, GTB and the forum. And thanks God, now we are going to be collaborating one with each other. Uh, we are not going to fight anymore and we are going to be collaborating with them. So, um, they are going to do every Saturday over and over that place uh, between 12 and uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Everyone that wants to go and have a drink and have a chat, it was really nice. The only thing that always like, happened, like I said before, it was only girls. Uh, it was only this, this this guy that he left, but always, always only girls. It's for that reason that I say that I love. I would love to be a lesbian woman because that way I is going to be. It was going to be more nice because uh, the men doesn't respond the calls of um, of the LGBT forum lockness as the woman does. Uh, thank you very much to all the girls that were there. Thank you very, very much. We have a really nice time and a really nice chat and we enjoy each other really, 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 really well. Also, I have to tell you that uh, I'm going to be having help with Brian from New York. We are going to be seeing his news. I don't know if I say it before. Uh, we are going to be seeing his news from New York every day in the page and we are going to see how, uh, how he does the, the, the news every single day for us and for everybody because you can see his page and this is really interesting and uh, yeah, Brian is really, uh, Brian no Bradley is really interesting to see his page. Hi, I'm Bradley Voorhees, and this is what goes into your gay news. It really is sad what the world does to people. I'm going to your wedding, but I can't even have one. My early ruins relationship. I don't understand that we are the face. Every day I hope that one day things will change. I don't need to tell to everyone who accepts me for who I am. This is what I do every morning. I get up, and as you'll see around my studio, the whole thing is very dark. Because this is first thing in the morning, I get up. I get my daughter, start getting her ready for school. She goes in and she takes a shower. When she takes a shower, I come downstairs into my basement where I have my studio, green screen, computer equipment, all that stuff, set up down here so that I can do your gay news every morning, Monday through Friday. Okay, so the very first thing I do while my daughter's getting ready for school in the morning is I come into my studio and I s turn on my computer and then I, um, I open up a web page. I go to google.com, of course. Uh, so let me type in Google. Then once I'm on the Google page, I type in gay news, and then I hit enter, and then there's little links up here. So I click on the news link. That takes me to all 
the gay news that that's happened over the night, you know, since I broadcast the day before. What I do is I find stories. Like, let's say this one here, for example. Gay couples celebrate Illinois issues civil union licenses. So I would go to that story, and I would read through it. And if it's good enough to put in the news, well, not good enough. Like, really, all the news is good news. So don't get me wrong. I mean, even if it's bad news, it's, it's news, so it's good. But um, it, it has to be a weeding out process for me, like, because there's not room to do every single story of every single headline that there is. So I weed out and choose the ones that I feel are the best for the episode. And so what I'll do is, let's take this Illinois one. I would just, um, I would type in Illinois Civil Union Licenses and then type that into Google and see if that same story comes up. And if it shows up two or three times, then the chances of me using it are pretty good. And what I do is I read through the different stories and I piece them all together. Like, um, like some of them have different quotes, you know, because people, you know, actual reporters that go out and gather the news... Um, you know, different reporters have different parts of the story that they thought were good. So I'll go through and I'll look at all the quotes and all the different stories and I'll piece together my own story out of several various stories on the subject. And that's how I gather my news. Don't forget, I always have my coffee in the morning too. Actually, I have it with me all day long. Is that bad? So after I've gathered all of my news stories and I've written the news stories. I type them all up. I use Microsoft Works. <laughs> I know a lot of people use Word, but I actually love the Microsoft program Works. It works great. I go through and I bold the title of each article that I wrote. I bold it so that I know where each one begins. And I go through and I read it three or four times because I have to make sure that I've recited it good enough before I, want, before I waste the time doing it on camera. So then what I do is I highlight all the text and I make it a size 48 font. And then I go through and I look to make sure everything is readable and everything. And then the next thing that I do in the morning is I choose, I, I turn on the lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on some lights around here and let it get all bright so you can see that um, I have a lot of lights <laughs> that go into the show. After I turn on the lights, I pick out what I'm going to wear. So here we are in the wardrobe section, also slash makeup section. And when I remember, I put on makeup in the morning, but typically I forget. And it's not even really that important to me in the morning because I'm like just waking up. I'm like, ah, fuck it. So what I do is go to the Salvation Army and I pick out all of my tops that I, that I wear, all of my ties, all of my shirts, all of my jackets, all come from the Salvation Army. Because I, doing what I do, I want to wear, make sure I wear a different one every day and never wear the same one twice, that kind of a thing. So I find myself shopping at the Salvation Army a lot because I would be crazy to go to a real store to buy this many tops. So I have all of my shirts on this section, and a lot of them are dirty still. All of my jackets here. Anyway, so then I, um, I pick what I'm going to wear. So let's just say, for instance, I want to wear this blue shirt. You have the big side on the right side of your body and the little side on the left side. Make the little side a little tiny, little tiny bit compared to this length of this one right here. So the length is completely different. Then you go over with the big side and then under the little side, over with the big side again, and then this time up through. And then there's a little loop that you created in the front and then you pull it down. Don't come to me for tie lessons. Give your um, top one, your big one, a little tug to tighten it a little bit. And take your little one and go all the way up with it. And then tighten, 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 blah, blah, blah. Take your collar, flop it down. Does this look familiar? Hi, welcome to Your Gay News. I'm Bradley Borges, your host. <laughs> Anyway, the funny thing about this is I'm not wearing any pants. Well, I'm wearing pants, but I'm not wearing dressy pants. I'm wearing pajamas. Ooh! But it's...
it doesn't matter because you can't see that. Shh. Then we're just about time to go, but if you can't tell, you can see my light. What we do is we usually pull this up to us, that way the light is wider back there, and then I've got the light on my ass, and then it, it, it's hot sometimes, and the microphone in front of me. See what I mean? My computer's that way, my microphone's jabbed out in front of me, and this light oftentimes gets really hot on my tush. So if you look from this angle, you'll notice I've got the light right here, which shines on the green screen. I've got my microphone right here. I got my stance right here. Sometimes I gotta squat like this in order for my head not to be cut off in the video. And my computer's right there. And the camera sits right next to the computer monitor. So that when I'm reading my words on the screen, it looks like I'm looking into the camera, but I'm really not. I take my wireless mouse and I stand here in my little stance and then I make my document full screen. And then as I read the news, I'm scrolling down with my mouse on my leg. I'm scrolling down and reading the news while it looks like I'm looking into the camera, but I'm not. After all is said and done, and I've got it in the morning, started getting my daughter ready for school, come downstairs into the studio, gathered my news stories, turned on all of my lights, read through my script a million times, got dressed. Hey there. Welcome to Your Gay News. I'm your host, Bradley Voorhees. President Barack Obama is set to travel to New York City for a high-profile LGBT fundraiser today. In surveying a host of gay community members and supporters, it seems increasingly clear that, while there remains tremendous disappointment over the lack of speed of Obama's evolution on gay marriage, his relationship with the gay community is still fairly in good condition. The issue of legalizing same-sex marriage has been heating up in Albany. Small riots have even been reported. Crowds gathered for and against marriage equality, chanting and holding signs within the walls of the Albany State House. Deputy Minority Leader Senator Lebois is in charge of keeping the momentum going in the Senate, but Wednesday said the commotion is making his job a little harder. In spite of the demonstrators, Senator Lebois is standing strong on his decided vote, saying, quote, In the case of gay marriage, I will not be voting for it. I have heard loud and clear. As I said earlier, my emails and phone calls have been coming in at least five to one against it, and I think that I will be reflecting the majority of my constituents when I cast my no vote, end quote. State lawmakers in Albany are struggling to reach an agreement on same-sex marriage. Legislative leaders in Albany are now saying that there are no major obstacles to bringing the same-sex marriage issue to a vote. The state Senate appears to still be one vote shy of making New York the sixth state to allow gay marriage. Progress was supported Wednesday night on efforts to better protect religious groups and op adoption agencies that could face discrimination lawsuits if they refuse to participate in same-sex weddings or adoptions. As part of June's LGBT Pride Month, Gap Incorporated store Old Navy is selling gay pride t-shirts under the banner Love Proudly, Pride 2011. The family-friendly brand announced on Facebook we're carrying a colorful gay pride t-shirt in select stores with 10% of the proceeds going to the It Gets Better project. T-shirts will be sold in a total of 26 stores, and if it goes well this year, they said that they'll put pride t-shirts in even more stores next June. I'm Bradley Voorhees, and this has been Your Gay News. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Thanks. invite you to see it uh, and also we are in contact with Maximiliano. Maximiliano is a guy that has another TV like this one in Italy and he is in uh, he working for love as well seeing his